Hey guys, back again. So today I watched Eight Legged Eight Legged Freaks, which I got the Scream Factory release uh pretty recently, a couple days ago, and I have never seen this one before. I've never seen Eight Legged Eight Legged Freaks. I can't say that. Eight Legged Freaks. I've never seen this one before, and I've always loved the poster art of that of like <laughs> them attacking Dave Arquette screaming and the girl screaming. I thought that was really funny. Just ever since the movie came out, like, in 2002, I believe, is whenever it was released, but, uh, but the basic story of this is that some spiders get contaminated, um, by a vat of toxic, wa toxic waste that flies into a river, and they get into crickets, and then the spiders eat the crickets, and then they become gigantic, um, like, monster-sized, and it's really, really fun. I honestly really thought this one was genuinely very very fun i was actually surprised because i haven't ever heard that much praise for this one um i never have heard people say like oh i love it it's the best it's incredible like i i've only heard that it's like oh it's not that good or it's okay like i actually surprisingly like this one a lot um and weirdly enough looking at the art right here it says from the producers of independence day and godzilla um, so Roland Emmerich and all of those people, um, it's weird to say that I like this movie a lot because all those other movies that Roland Emmerich did, like Independence Day, like Godzilla 1998, um, Day After Tomorrow, all that shit, I am not a fan of his movies. Um, I've never been a fan of his dumb movies and it's kind of hypocritical to say because this movie is so dumb and really stupid, but I thought it was so fun. Um... I guess I'm a hypocrite on that fact, but, like, I just can't get into Roland Emmerich's movies. Like, I I haven't seen all of them. I've seen a majority of them. Um, I haven't seen 2012. Um, I hear that one's terrible, too, but that one's, like, three hours long, so if I do watch that, I don't know if I'd have to watch it all in increments, because that just seems, like, too much for me, because that because I'm not already a fan of his movies. But it's funny to see that this is by the same people, like, the producers of that, um because I did like this one a lot, so I'm genuinely surprised on that fact. Um, this one does star David Arquette. Um, it also has Scarlett Johansson in it, which is really funny. Young Scarlett Johansson. And um, they're they're pretty good in the movie. They're pretty basic, but they're good, and these then they fit their characters. Like, I thought they were fun. I thought David Arquette was this fun, like, character who comes back to the town after 10 years later kind of thing. Um... And then Scarlett Johansson is this teenage daughter of the mom who's the cop. Um, and then she also has a little brother who's the one who figures out all the spider stuff. He's the genius on spiders and tarantulas. So it's it's a fun little thing with the characters. They're not anything special to write home about. But I mean, I didn't expect that. I just expected them to be serviceable. And they are. They are all pretty serviceable. Um this movie got me because, you know, whenever you have animal deaths in movies, I'm not a fan. And the fact that you you have these giant-ass spiders attacking and maiming cats and dogs, that just made me sad. Like, I was watching that and I was like, damn, this is hard to watch because I do really genuinely love animals and I feel so bad whenever they die. Who gives a shit about the people dying? The animals, when they die, it's just, it feels so bad. It hurts just watching it. And there's some good moments of that um, in this. Um, and I got to point out the CG and how terrible it is. And it's weird because it's terrible CG. But I really like that charm about it. I think that that makes this movie feel really charming. And it's weird because this one, it's it's hard to say if they purposefully made it completely terrible CG because it was from 2002 where CG was not that good. It was very cartoony and didn't really fit with the actual image whenever like it was on camera with CG, like in terms of like the CG versus now. Um, we have gone leaps and bounds with CG now, but like this movie, it's so weird because the CG isn't good. But again, it makes it charming because it felt like one of those old creature features where, like, instead of a CG creature in those, it's, like, just a spider that's that they enlarge on screen. But I really liked that idea of this just being really hokey and goofy, and it just really was up my alley. It really worked. Um, 
And it's weird, it has the disaster movie cliches that I usually get annoyed by. Um, like, say, the conspiracy theorist who, like, nobody believes, and then he's part of the help in the movie. And I and I thought that was interesting. I thought that was fun. Um, there's one joke that I thought was kind of outdated where I was kind of annoyed with because in the 2000s, there were a lot of jokes that were geared towards... Um, kind of like women being sex objects. And in this one, you've got a joke where there's a guy who's closing the gate, like who's in charge of the gate at the mall, because the climax is in the mall. And he's shutting down the gate, or he has to shut down the gate, so he, he, he's picking at his keys, and he said, okay, front door, back door, women's restroom. And I thought it was just an out-of-place joke. Like, it just was like... I thought it was a weird joke that they had in there. It was like, man, I just, I didn't understand why. I didn't hate the hate it, but I was just like, that joke just feels really outdated now. Um, but like I said, in the mall, in the climax, I thought it was really cool. I thought that was fun. I thought that was thrilling. Um, I liked how they shut everything down with the, the spider, the tarantulas and the spiders are still getting in. And I think it's pretty effective, honestly. Um, and... Just again, the use of spiders in this, even though the CG is purposefully bad, I'm assuming, it uh the spiders are effective and good in good use. Like there's moments of them hiding in holes, there's moments of them um doing creepy things that you don't see them on screen, and then sometimes they're obviously all on screen and it's CG and silly, but I like that this movie did do a good blend of like being ridiculously just silly, but there are some moments of actual kind of thrills. I actually was genuinely Kind of thrilled watching this one um characters are basic but it is very hokey and very fun so i enjoyed eight legged freaks i'm so glad that screen factory released the uh this edition because like i said i've just never seen it before so i'm glad i got to see it um really really worth my time um i really enjoyed it so that's it for today got more videos coming up and i'll see you guys later take care